chair was considered a masterpiece soon after its release and remains ever contemporary today. The chairs were designed by Charles and Ray Eames in 1958, jewels of a bountiful year. The Eames' first large-scale multimedia piece, The Information Machine, was at the 58 Brussels World's Fair. And the Eames' initiated India's National Institute of Design that same year. The Eames' saw no contradiction in such a diverse body of work from toy elephants to architecture and everything in between. Indeed, that holistic vision of design was key to their process. Like many of their designs, the Alu group began with a specific need. In this case, a plea from their friend, architect Aero Saarinen. He could not find seating rugged and light enough for a new home he was designing. Charles and Ray saw the universal in that very personal and specific request. Throwing out preconceptions, Charles sketched a wholly new way to use tension to support the human body, and the Eames office began to experiment with cast aluminum, never really used before for furniture. Ray often said they wanted to design chairs where the act of mass production only made the design better. Indeed, one can only design this chair if one knew how to make it. If one knew from the start the twist required to create the deceptively light seat and the strength needed to keep that tension. Such authenticity is not hidden in museums, but is made anew each day by the authorized manufacturer of Eames Furniture. Charles saw that design took place everywhere, in a sense, all the time, even in the setting of a table. But with an object like a chair, it is almost a set of questions answered physically. Folk design also answers such questions without formally asking them, and admirable results can take generations. The Eames process raised and answered the questions not merely with deliberation, but exploration. The Eames office never delegated understanding. They wanted their designs to flow from the learning. They made version after version, a kind of accelerated evolution, until the final design answered with what the Eames is called way it should be -ness.
For the Eameses, the design process didn't conclude with the form, as they and their partner manufacturers crafted and constantly improved the way to be able to make it just right, over and over. Things of beauty and value mass-produced as intended, as originals, the making and the designing seamlessly connected. Perhaps another reason the Eames Alu chair has always felt both fresh and wise.